Thoughts About the Person from Porlock by Stevie Smith Coldridge received the person from Porlock and ever after called him a curse. Then why did he hurry to let him in? He could have hid in the house. It was not right of Coldridge. In fact, it was wrong. But often we all do wrong. As the truth is, I think, he was already stuck with Kubla Khan. He was weeping and wailing. I am finished, finished. I shall never write another word of it. When along comes the person from Porlock and takes the blame for it. It was not right, it was wrong, but often we all do wrong. May we inquire the name of the person from Porlock? Why? Porson, didn't you know? He lived at the bottom of Porlock Hill, so had a long way to go. He wasn't much in the social sense, though his grandmother was a warlock, one of the Rutlandshire ones, I fancy, and nothing to do with Porlock. And he lived at the bottom of the hill, as I said, and had a cat named Flo, and had a cat named Flo. I long for the person from Porlock to bring my thoughts to an end. I am becoming impatient to see him. I think of him as a friend. Often I look out of the window, often I run to the gate. I think, he will come this evening. I think it is rather late. I am hungry to be interrupted for ever and ever, amen. O oh, person from Porlock, come quickly and bring my thoughts to an end. I fel felicitate the people who have a person from Porlock to break up everything and throw it away, because then there will be nothing to keep them, and they need not stay. Why do they grumble so much? He comes like a benison. They should be glad he has not forgotten them. They might have had to go on. These thoughts are depressing, I know. They are depressing. I wish I was more cheerful. It is more pleasant. Also, it is a duty. We should smile as well as submitting to the purpose of one above who is experimenting with various mixtures of human character, which goes best. All is interesting for him. It is exciting, but not for us. There I go again. Smile, smiling, get some work to do then you will be practically unconscious without positively having to go.